Hello YouTube, this is Sonic2KK here, and welcome back to another tutorial. And what is this tutorial on, you may ask? Well, this is going to be a tutorial on, if you can't tell by the title, Pygame. Yes, Pygame. You, you haven't heard me wrong, you haven't read the title wrong, Pygame. Now, I am still learning Pygame, but I know uh, some of the basics of Pygame, and I'm I plan on continuing to learn it. And uh, I'm going to... Assume you already know how to use a framework called Love2D, hopefully, and I'm going to be comparing that. I'm going to be comparing Pygame to that a lot, but you should still be able to follow along, even if you don't know Love2D, but it will help if you do, or any sort of uh, framework. I will explain, like, if I'm doing about key presses, I'll say, oh, this would be the equivalent of blah 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 in Love2D, or blah 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 in LibGDX, or whatever or uh, Gosu or JAWS.js or whatever whatever framework we've used before um, and yeah so let's get on with the tutorial so uh, first of all if you've never heard of it what is Pygame? well if you can't tell Pygame is uh, a wrapper well not a wrapper but well it is but it is a Python game library not a frame well I suppose it's kind of the same thing but it's it's a set of modules that you can use to make games with Python so essentially it is a way to make games with Python uh, it is a wrapper, which means any of the functions in one framework can be put into another. Let me just explain it. Uh, it's a wrapper for SDL. Okay, Ran is messaging me. AW2012. Is he putting games in another app? Hold on, I have to message him about this. Okay, I just wanted to message me about his social network that he's making. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, Pygame is a wrapper. For the uh, C and C++ library, originally, well, yeah, the C and C++ uh, uh, library called SDL, and it stands for Simple Direct Media Layer, and this is a wrapper for all its classes and functions, which basically means all the the methods and all the functions and all the classes are all wrapped into Python, which means you can use them with Python. And I'm going to teach you how to use Pygame to make games with Python. Uh, now, before anybody says, "Oh, Python's too slow," blah 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 blah. Um, check out PyPy, and, uh, you know, ways up, <laughs> because Python isn't that slow, it isn't as slow as people make it out to be. So yeah, uh, how do we, let's create a minimum, minimal window in this video, uh, yeah, and we could be able to close and stuff. So what we want to do is we want to say import Pygame, and this imports the main Pygame module, of course, and then we want to say... Uh, window equals pygame dot uh, display dot set mode and this takes a tuple for the screens width and height and what we could do is we could say screen width equals uh, 800 screen height equals 600 or no we could say uh, Green dimensions equals 800, 600, and then here we just pass in uh, screen dimensions because it's a tuple, um, and then this creates a window. This will display a window. Uh, let's say pygame dot display dot set caption. I'm going to go back over this, hold on, just in, if you don't understand it and you're getting lost, follow along. Set caption, this will set the title. I'm going to say, my first Python game. And yeah, we'll keep it there. Um, I'm going to say, while true for event in pygame.event.get if event.type is equal to Pygame dot event or pygame dot quit pygame dot quit. Right. So what does this do? Right. This imports pygame. This creates a tuple. You should know what a tuple is if you ever did any Python or followed along with my tutorials. And this creates a tuple with six hundred, eight hundred by six hundred. Uh, the window. This creates a window. And the the way you do it is say pygame dot display dot set mode, and this uh, takes this 
function takes uh, a tuple for the screen dimensions, how big to make the screen. So we have it 800 by 600, so it'll be 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. Uh, sorry if you can hear my fans. Uh, yeah, I've come close. Uh, just, just, uh, sometimes it does that, I'm not sure why. Um, and then here we set the title, Peggy into the display, that's set caption, it sets the caption of the window. And then we set while true, this is what's known as a game loop. This is like love.update, uh, if you've ever used love2d. Uh, love.update love and love.draw all put into one. And then here we loop through all the events. Uh, hold on, I'm just going to move it on the knee and like let it or a little bit my laptop. So here we are saying for event in pagian.event.get this returns a list of events in a thing called an event queue so if you keep pressing your button that'll go into an event queue so for event in pagian.event.get whatever event is fired is stored in this event variable and this runs uh, forever because it's in uh, while true that means it runs forever so each event pygame.event.get returns a, a, a queue of events, a list of events, and it's stored in this temporary variable called event. And then we say if event.type is equal to pygame.quit, this checks the type of event of what it is, and pygame.quit, if it's pygame.quit, um, and pygame.quit uh, is called whenever uh, you press the X button on your window and try to close the window, and if that's the event type, that's fired, then we want to quit Pygame. This is the function used to quit Pygame. And you just, if you don't know what an event is, it's basically whenever you click your mouse, right click, tap, uh, move the window, resize the window, etc, etc. That is all what is known as an event. And of course, uh, pressing keys on the keyboard and uh, quitting the application. So, this should create a window if all goes to plan. Let's run it in debug with wing IDE. And this will create our window with the title, My First Python Game. We press the X and it closes. Oh, we forgot to call this. We forgot to say pygame.init. And pygame.init basically initializes pygame. Always call that. Always call it. I, I forget to call it because uh, I'm using an older version of pygame or something. I can't remember. But whenever I used pygame ages ago, you didn't have to call pygame.init. But for some reason, now you do. Um, so, yeah. We uh, stop debugging and run. Uh, we can do whatever. We can press all our buttons and quit. Still says video is just not initialized. Hold on. Okay, so I'm not sure why I had to do this, uh, but it was the only solution I could find. What I did was I created a new variable called running set it equal to true and said while running so while running is equal to true uh, we do this and then whenever we uh, press the quit button we say running equals false and then pygame.quit we probably could have also called sys.exit but yeah so basically whenever running is equal to false it exits this loop and the only time it will ever exit the loop is if the game isn't running and if it isn't running then we want to quit pygame and that's exactly what that does so uh, one more time let's recap and let's import Pygame, initialize everything in Pygame, create a tuple called Screen Dimensions, create a window object and call it pygame.display.setMode and give it, it takes a tuple uh, of the screen dimensions and we give it the screen dimensions tuple we created up here on line 5 and then we say pygame.display.setCaption, my first Pygame, Python game and this sets the title of the window. We create a variable called running and set it equal to true. We say while running, this will start our main uh, game loop and this will run while uh, our window is running. While this is what's known as the the main loop, the game main loop, or the game loop. And uh, we loop through every event in the event queue. And then we say if the event.type is equal to pygame.quit, or in other words, if we press the, the close button, then running will be equal to false. And uh, whenever it exits the loop, the only time we'll ever exit the loop is ever whenever running is equal to false, and that's when we don't want the program to run. We call pygame.quit. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.